Well, I'm incredibly proud of our team. I felt we fought, um, showed tremendous fight in the second half in particular. Uh, I said to the boys at halftime, all we needed is sort our ruck out. I thought the Highlanders were doing an excellent job there. And we just needed some position on the right end of the field. Uh, and we got those. And when we got those, we are a good side. And uh, what I loved <clears throat> particularly about tonight is, is the people who turned up really got behind this team. You could really hear them. And it really picked the boys up, particularly going down that yellow card. You can still hear people chanting New South Wales, and I think it's just, yeah. <laughs> That's just fantastic, so. You've played in some big games over the years there. Where, where does that make? Yeah, it's definitely up there. You know, um, we, we talk about that 14 campaign. It was a good memory, but, you know, to win out there, um, trailing by 17 points uh, was yeah really special for for the guys to lift and you know we spoke about it at half time let's not leave any or have any regrets at the end of this game let's let's put it all out in there and um, and see how it falls and you know the guys really did that and as Daryl said the support especially coming home in that second half you know to hear the crowd get so vocal um, definitely lifted us and you know if that's the last game we play in that stadium it's it's a pretty good one. Does winning like that coming from so far behind? start giving yourself belief that you can go a lot further? I think we've always had the belief, you know, we've just got to uh, keep nailing the big moments, you know, I thought our, we missed some line-out delivery tonight, especially at crucial crucial times and, um, you know, we allowed them to get a roll on in that in that first half with probably some silly, silly errors and um, a couple of, you know, ill-disciplined um, misjudgment at the ruck. So for us, you know, we've just got to be cr more clinical in those positions and um, I think the belief and the confidence is always there amongst this squad. Now, irrespective of who you play next week, what are the things that you're going to feel that you need to work on most in the... Yeah, well, just picking up on Bernard's point, I, I thought we were really poor in the first half. We, we lost um, four lineouts, and we couldn't get any position, couldn't hang on to anything, and we couldn't string any phases together. Um, we were getting behind in the penalty count. So <clears throat> for me, I go, on balance, we played very poorly and still won the game. So you know, it shows that we're a good side. Um, we've got plenty of growth in us. Uh, we've got to fix those things up for next week. Um, but those are things that are easily fixable. You know, we've, we've had a good line out all year, so that's the uh, that's the real good thing about this performance. Well, that that breakdown, Aaron, um, Tolu obviously helped a lot in that regard when he, when he put him on. Is that well? I know they're Fitzy and Tolu are horses for courses, but we give yeah. inspiration to starting. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, we've been you know sharing time there, 40 minutes each, uh, and it's really just for continuity that we've been starting with uh, Fitzy, but. I guess the two teams that we're likely to come up against, whether it's home or away, are both very physical, and that'll be consideration in our decision making. How's, how's Michael Wells? What's, uh, what's he... Yeah, we've got a couple of injuries. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's back with us. A um, couple of two HIAs, um, head knocks, so they'll have to follow protocol next week, and that's Michael Wells and, and Rob Simmons. And uh, so we're likely to, in any touring party, take cover for them. And what did you say in the uh, half in the shed? Oh, just you know, let's not leave anything, uh, or let's not die wondering. I think I think we we probably address the technical tactical of you know holding the ball, uh, playing our shape, and and you know we we're going to create enough if we're able to hold possession. Um, but then let's just you know play for each other, and I think the guys really responded. Short points, uh, obviously dropping back in the game well the number of we've talked about defense all week you know as much as we we lord our attack defense won us the game tonight um and yeah it was really our first up shots that were missing last last week our intent was much better i thought um you know our, our behavior is getting off the line so market improvement and as i said to you last week i didn't think we showed up last week Mentally, <clears throat> this week we showed up. It's good. But was there anything the team did mentally during the week to kind of refocus yourself? Or was it just the fact if you suddenly face a sudden death match and you know if you, you lose your round? Oh, I think the guys turned up with a great attitude to, to work on our, on us. You know, I didn't think we were definitely aware of the Highlanders and the threats they posed, but it was all just focusing on, on ourselves, making ourselves uh, the best we can. You know really reaching our potential as, as a squad and um, I thought you know there was definitely that 
that purpose in guys, um, that laser focus when we were in, sort of together, and you know it pays off in, in times in those big moments. You know when guys are really willing themselves to make this to make those tackles you know we defended with 14 on our line for five six minutes there and um, guys just willing away did you say anything to the guys when the got sent to the bin at all um no i think the guys knew the importance and we wanted to play up tempo and i think um the way it panned out we were able to, to hold the ball we we're able to score back-to-back points and we we're able to you know just really try and um, keep our foot in the throat and that was uh something that was really really pleasing as a squad how often is to go either, you know, boot? Uh, he's talked to me about the final. <laughs> so, you know, if we uh, earn ourselves there, could be a chance. Darren, did you know um, that Rob Horn was going to be in, the, in no, the box? No, I didn't. It was great. I'm sure he was very proud of the boys' performance tonight. I think it's really... No, I didn't know that. I know um, he got back during the week and a lot of the guys went and caught up with him, so it was pretty emotional and... Um, you know, I think the guys speaking with him, sitting with him, uh, we're really touched to have him back and um, behind this squad because he's such a vital member and guys have such good relationships with him. Uh, and look, people watching it will equate um, the comeback with um, the Highlanders playing with 14 men. Um, you know, it's not something you can rely on every game, is it? <laughs> is it a statement or a question? Um, yes. I thought we had a fantastic period when they went down to 14, um, we really maximised that opportunity. And so, I don't know what we scored, but we certainly had a brilliant 10 minutes period. Swung us into um, momentum and confidence to, to run with the ball, so, um, yeah, it was good. Is that an area that you need to work on that you know you that we want to put other teams down to 14 men? <laughs> no. Um, Get it, getting I back thought, together before, without having... Yeah, a, a, that would be nice. Like that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's what uh, you know, we set our, set our team up for. What I was pleased about is we practiced going down a man again, uh, and I thought we managed that period really well. I think the turning point too was probably Nick's, you know, diving on that ball. There was a couple of loose balls over the back of the line out. Um, Nick showed some great intent there and, and sort of swung that m the momentum. You said last week you weren't going to watch the South African game, you're going to watch it now? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be home cheering on the Jags.